Hi, everybody. It is January 18th. This is the DEI badging meeting. Welcome back. This is our first meeting of the year. Hooray. Woo Glad to see everybody Hooray. here. Yay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was enthusiastic. I love it. Um, I will share my screen. I just dropped three super simple. Oh, wait a minute. Let me find my agenda here. Hold on. How does Zoom work? I don't know. It's too early for me right now. It's not even that early. 9.30. I know, it's early. I do have coffee, but oof. Sure, okay, now I got it. All right, here's the link to the agenda. Y'all know the drill. Put your names in here if you want. Oh, thanks, Kinsley. Kinsley already did it. We don't have, even have a question. If anybody has a question they want to ask, we can. Um, if we have time, I'm also going to add this on the agenda, but that might be a long, because we have a list of, of goals from last year. So um, yeah, we can maybe talk about that in a minute. It's snowing there, Matt. Oh, no, no, thank you. I mean, no. it's going to come in my way. I think it's going north, like okay. Minnesota way. It can Minnesota can have all the snow. That's totally fine. I don't want any more. Okay, so um, I didn't know if we were going to have Enoch on the call. I don't see him. Um, but I don't think anybody on here has been working on the bot with Enoch. Has anyone? If not, no. that's fine. Okay, well, we'll just okay. give him a sync just to see how that's going. And Kingsley, aren't you glad you showed up to the meeting today because you get to give us a budget website update <laughs> if you want. It, I don't want to be too on the spot because you did not know that you were going to be on the agenda today. So. <laughs> on spotlight, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, uh, I had, um, actually today was my first call of my working group. Yeah, so we had the call, I think about 1.30 p.m. or 9 p.m. time. So, and um, I think it was just um, about going back to where we stopped last year. So for now, um, I don't have designs to share, but I, I think we have more detailed feedback to share by uh, next meeting. Well, um, for just like progress, what we have ongoing still the mobile view for the budget website. So that's currently being designed, and um, uh, we already shared some of the designs are already. Of course, we showed you some designs here for the mobile, uh, uh, for the web platform. So we shared that already with the uh, software team um, led by Enoch. So I think when Enoch is back, he's going to tell us what's going on with that and how far they've gone. But for now, from the design perspective, we only have the mobile ongoing at the moment, and we have more to share by next week. So I, our discussion today was just around okay, what we did last year and maybe like the future and perhaps what we're looking at this year. So next week you should be see some stunning designs. Thank you. <laughs> that is a perfectly valid update. Thank you very much, Kingsley. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> Definitely appreciate you. Uh, does anybody have questions uh, uh, for Kingsley on that the new badging website? Given the fact that they're also easing into 2023 here. Oh, I do have one quick question, and you might not even have an answer to this, Kingsley. Do you all have a launch date in mind, or are we just trying to work as we work and let it let it be what it is? Um, you mean about the design, the design team? Um, maybe the whole thing, like design um, function, like where somebody, like a new applicant, would come and apply on the new website. All like all of it. You may not know. Uh, no, no, we don't have that at the moment. Okay. So, uh, 
Yeah, no worries. No worries. Yeah. We don't have we don't have that. Okay. And I just give a brief update for Enoch because he's not here. Oh, good. <laughs> Enoch, Enoch is still on holiday, so it's coming. <laughs> Well, uh, for the badging website, they, they really, um, I think Enoch and Tochuku has been leading, and I think Precious as well. Um, so I think they have, they really did a lot of work um, in December on the website like in such a short time. So I sent a link on the chat of what's the current state. Maybe this better should, you can just go, go there. Yeah. What the current state of the website is. So they've been trying to implement what the design team has been working on. So this hosted on Netlify for the meantime. So this is how far they've gone. So I'm, I'm hoping things will resume in coming weeks when Enoch is back. And <laughs> yeah, so but this is how far they've, they've gone on, which is really impressive and interesting. Yeah, this is great. Um, and is there a list of um, all the uh, everything's happening in the badging? Yeah, uh, the report, report right? Yeah. Okay, and in the report. Yeah. Okay. yeah, there's there's. Let me send it into the repository because they have like a lot a list of issues that are open. Okay. Some people assigned um, to those issues, so I'm I'm hoping like in the coming weeks they'll also like open up more issues to because I know the different pages aren't loading up yet they haven't created the different pages yet but so far this is what's been going on hey awesome this is really great I know it's so much work it is so much work so I just really appreciate all the effort that everybody has been putting into this and it's been I think a, a great place for newcomers to come and kind of feel like they can participate in like a a, maybe a, a mini chaos or like something smaller that's a little bit more <laughs> you know like to wrap your head around like yes like this makes sense i mean the overall chaos is a lot but like this is like one project so it's kind of a little easier to um yeah nice okay awesome any other comments questions anything else about the website Okay, let's go on then to goals for 2023. So these were our goals for 2022. Um, we did this. Should we put a little check mark? Uh, let's yeah, I think the lights check things off. I think I think the lights recently got um, hit. I don't think mine came through. I don't know. I need to check the post office. But yeah, the lights got the reviewer application recently oh nice thank you katie for doing that green check mark there we go and we also had our our reviewer appreciation event so swag was sent and we held an event um is that something we want to do again i personally think that was awesome yeah it would be cool it was was really awesome. So I, I would want to see it again. <laughs> was that the event where we made donuts? It is. Yeah. <laughs> Digital donuts. <laughs> I wish they would have been in real life, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll eat it in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, marketing focus. We we did some of that. Um, I'm gonna check it off because we did do some of that. What do we think our marketing focus should be this year? I know we, we had talked about reaching out to other groups that organize events um, since a lot of our events came from the LF. I think we had currently some reaching out like right now to the Eclipse Foundation. About, I mean, part of it is trying to find points of connection and I'm going to, one of the suggestion is to encourage projects at the Eclipse Foundation to apply for badges. So more to come on that. Yeah, go ahead, Bruce. 
Yeah, I think something else we can add is, you know, as we reach out to these um, conferences and projects, we can also, I think, get feedback from what they would love to see, like or what things that they've experienced in terms of DI while organizing these conferences. I feel their feedback would be really helpful. So it would help us, you know, add in more metrics and find like our process as well. Like what what I think people are, you know, talking about the conferences in regards to DI and maybe even feedback from even attendees. I don't know how we can do that, but. Um, so something that had been brought up uh, a while back and it has not materialized yet, mostly just because I haven't pushed it, um, is that a few of the uh, event applicants were, um, it did express an interest in connecting with other event organizers to talk about DEI and even the metrics that they're looking at um, while they run their event. Um, so, you know, in our conversation in the community call yesterday, we were talking about setting up a group for community managers akin to our group for OSPOs. This would might be another one. I don't think the idea is for them to meet um, weekly or bi-weekly even. I would say maybe even once a quarter would be enough. But I did get that feedback that like connecting with other event organizers would be something. Helpful. Yeah, yeah, very helpful because it could share experiences, you know, best practices. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love that idea, particularly when it came up ever so briefly in the community call yesterday about the community managers. I mean, if mm -hmm. we're going to. So I think in chaos as a whole, we do have a lot of metrics that we've developed and there does seem to be an angle towards helping people bring those metrics together in meaningful ways for their particular context, whether it's for an OSPO, whether it's for community managers, or in this case, for event organizers. And I I really the more I think about it I the more I really like this um, shift in chaos and I don't mean like shift away from metrics development but kind of a shift towards supporting uh, groups of people who are probably asking very similar questions yeah and kind of helping them support each other too like being that space where they can support each other yep. Yeah, I really like that too. Um, I want to be, I'm, I'm always trying to be mindful of like chaos's time and our mission and making sure that what we do is in alignment with that. I'm um, just because everybody's, you know, I mean, it's an open source project. So there's a lot going on and there's a lot of volunteer hours. And so I would just want to make sure that, you know, we're mindful of that. But I think this is a perfect example of how we can be the hub for others, you know, a, pl a, a place to go to talk about this stuff. Um, and so to facilitate that, I think, is perfectly in alignment with. with yeah, I mean, I do think to that point, I'm not sure how yet, but we may have to like kind of reduce some of our working group contact, like think of ways that we can identify metrics, for example, in this event organizer work group and how those would get developed kind of it's similar to what we've what we have to think about in the metrics model working group. So I, I'm not quite sure what that process looks like yet, but we may have to rethink that because I'm I'm with you. We can't just keep adding our event <laughs> or hour long meetings without or the, without <laughs> understanding the impact that has on people. And you know maybe the future of chaos. Uh, I mean this probably isn't this is very tangential to this meeting, but maybe the future of chaos is like one metric working group that develops all the metrics and then we have these other spoke you know user groups that give us yes. the, give that group the metrics to develop and that's the metric group <laughs> yes or i mean it's possible too that we just we simply say like if you're one of these organizing groups and you want a metric you have to develop it like that's, that's true here's a template have at it <laughs> yeah here's the template we have people that can help in that regard and like the help becomes like kind of where we place it. But I mean, the reality is, is the way the new knowledge base is working, like the 
like evolution and risk and like those are kind of going away yeah i mean to be fair they are they are that's, that's just how we kind of organize work so there is that thought too that like anyway something along those lines yeah yeah i i, I really echo into that because like i think maybe in the future we'll have releases like um releasing things that we've done in other communities like ways we've helped other communities and not just maybe full metrics a full pdf of so many metrics so so yeah great idea okay so going back to our goals for 2023 going back up here leadership plan we did kind of do that. That was mostly um, to hand off leadership from Matt C as they were leaving um, or stepping back a little bit from chaos to focus on other things. Um, so we did handle that. Volunteer recruitment is ongoing. We did double our Badger uh, team last year, so that's good. I'm just going to put that on here too because I think that's another one. Uh, past applicant outreach. I don't think we did much of that. Yeah, I think we, I think we had that issue. I think we wanted to bring the event organizers into the events that we did, but it didn't work. It didn't work okay because um, we didn't get them to come to the event. I think that was what this was about. I can't really remember. I feel like um because i think it was along the lines of your feedback comment before that we wanted to like reach out to them i think a problem we had if i recall was we did not have actual contact information for yes, these applicants we didn't ask for emails or anything we just yeah. asked them to get a mail. and then the github issue got no response <laughs> yeah right 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 so um that might be something that we change on the form um the application form that we ask yeah. for emails contact address and then maybe you want to hide that from the issue i don't know because maybe people might be skeptical to give their contact information and have it displayed in an issue a bit of issue that's kind of like open so maybe we want to hide that part yeah but like store it somewhere or, or have it somewhere i'm not sure how that yeah. would work, but like have it um, somewhere no public Um, and then starter kit. I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> Does anybody remember what that was? Hmm. I don't. <laughs> I'm guessing we didn't do it and we don't know what it was. We didn't probably do Maybe it. Maybe chaos that our kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. I, I think we can dig for it. Maybe. Um go back to like early on last year and check maybe there was context about starter kids but yeah let's just scroll down here i don't even know what that is i'm probably gonna um oh yeah these minutes i'm gonna archive these because this is getting yeah really and like you can use the header one and just find it yeah <laughs> where oh gosh they go all the way back to here what? I think maybe 20 January 2022 yeah. would be maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to um, maybe this one. Uh, what did all our thing? Leadership plan, volunteer recruitment, review appreciation. Okay. Uh, past applicant outreach. Okay. Okay. Where does that that kid come from? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Looking at these again. Still no mention of the starter kit. Okay. I'm going to just cheat here and just look. Search. Starter kit. <laughs> one of one. Is right here. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody really knows what that is. Okay, well, we would have done it if we would have remembered what it was. So, I've, I've so how come how do we end up least? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we're not going to put that on a goal for 2023 because we don't know. Um, is there anything else we want to accomplish? I do have one other thing that I want to add on here. If, um, and that is um, a new update of the application. Because we do have some metrics that we've developed that are not on the application. And I know we've been trying to get it on there. Um, so to include new metrics. And add, and add our new website too. And a new website. We have a lot of goals, lofty. Do we want to, I'm not a big fan of this, but if others are, we can certainly do it. Um, do we want to say we want a, a certain number of badges or anything like that? I prefer to let things grow organically. Yeah, me too. But... Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Good. I know I know it's a controversial stance like some people really uh, like to have that goal like oh, I have to have another hundred but you know then I feel like you're just, reviews. yeah you're just focusing on the goal and you're missing all the the good stuff that gets you there yeah. so, and you take shortcuts that aren't good so good I'm glad everyone agrees with me Yay. all right um how oh, yeah I think I put in something on the chat um Try to appreciate applicants via socials or emails, which I feel is very, very important. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, more social media. Yeah, and I think Anita did like a template one time. I don't know. I think that's on a separate document. That was like a template that Anita created for. Yeah, we talked about merging that with the communications. Um, Working group. So, yeah. Um, do you know if we have? Um, I feel like we had a graphic. I feel like maybe Nicole even made a graphic way back in the day that was like a nice little, like certification thing that we could use for those posts to kind of make them stand out a little bit. Do you know? Do, does anyone know what I'm talking about? No, I don't think I saw it. Okay. Maybe. I mean, it was it was old, so maybe like two two years ago or something. Um, uh, I'm just gonna put a nice, uh, yeah, updatable graphic to use for social media. Posts. I think that's something the design team can also work on. Maybe like a template where yeah, like post it on socials, make it look pretty. Yeah. That way it's like a nice little instead of just text it's always nice to have a little thing that's a lot of goals one two three four five six seven eight that's a lot but we're awesome i'm sure we can do it and we will do it because we're amazing all right what else do we have to talk about how are we feeling about um this meeting time and day and is it working for everybody are we doing okay i mean is it hard to fit this one in works for me well, yeah it works for me too okay. i always just like to check in with people um, I, I think the only thing is that it kind of like you know clashes into the communications working group like in chaos as general so yeah, uh, we did talk about that last time in the communications group, and I think actually what we're going to end up doing is splitting that meeting up. This is what we're proposing anyway, splitting that meeting up, doing like a half an hour on Monday and a half an hour on Thursday, just to touch base. That seemed to work for those that were there. Um, that way, Monday, we can look at like what's coming up this week, and then Thursday, we can look at how, how did that week go and what's coming up next week kind of a thing. I like that okay. idea. That's cool. Yeah. So it will really happen weekly too or on a bi-weekly cadence? I think for now weekly, just because it's still so new, um, maybe in the future it would alternate or something. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but for now, like just because everything's so new, we're trying to do it weekly. Okay, great. It's just like, like having two meetings on the same week. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, my brain, I don't know if I can handle it. But um, I think like just like a half an hour is a quickie 
you know, it's not too bad. So I think it will work. We're going to try it anyway. If it doesn't work, then we'll try something else. It's all good. It's all an experiment, a grand experiment. So, so we will keep them. No. Oh, what was that? Did anyone else hear that? Yeah, I think I tried. Oh, delight. Yeah. Okay, what else? Oh, I know. I did have another question. Do we need to do more or any? Um, how do I say this? Uh, I guess meeting, for lack of a better word, with the reviewers. Because right now we don't do much at all with our badgers as a group. Mm -hmm. Like we don't meet, we don't do anything. Yeah. And some do not attend this meeting as well. Right. We also have um, people are kind of split. Um, there's some on, uh, we, there's a signal group that's very low traffic. Then there's Slack. Um, presumably there would on uh, discourse there, there's going to be maybe maybe that's the place where we can all come together as in one place what do we what do we think because I feel like the badgers are kind of floating around and we have some that are not really in the I mean they are a part of chaos obviously because they're a badger but they're not they're very like kind of um, badging is like the only thing that they do and they don't really participate in any other way so I just want to make sure that they feel connected to us and not just floating out there you know what I mean what do we think yeah. like what would be a good pl place do you think discourse would be good to bring everyone together in one spot yeah I feel discourse is certain yeah, yeah we're, we're definitely going to do that but maybe something I was thinking about was uh, when you talk about connecting people together um, maybe something like a once in two months meeting or a monthly meeting like just to bring people like know how things are going and they could also have recommendation maybe just to connect the badgers together maybe we can think of doing one and see how it goes and maybe make it something because i'm we just thinking also, oh go ahead okay we can also use that period as a, um, an onboarding process for new badgers like, that once in a while meeting, you can also use onboard new budget as well. That's a good, that's a good idea. Um, Cause I was thinking, so, you know, when we do have a new, the new badging website, or if we do change the process a little and we add more metrics, like we're gonna need to uh, make sure that all our badgers understand the new metric and understand what changes have been made and, um, feel okay with the process and just I just really want them to feel more connected um, to the project I just kind of feel like they're floating out there so um, yeah I like that a lot um, maybe I'll do what do you all think about doing just like a doodle for everyone just to see if we can find a time and day that kind of works mm -hmm. for folks yeah yeah plus one on the doodle yeah and I also want to give folks a chance to um, either continue, like deliberately continue the work and say, yes, I'm still committed or, hey, this, you know, is getting a little much. I have other commitments that I can't do this anymore. So just kind of like a refresh of everything and make sure everybody, you know, still is on board and all that. Okay. Okay, good. Awesome. All right. What a productive meeting. Holy cow. We are amazing. Y'all can take the rest of the day off. Not quite, but <laughs> it's like, it's almost the end of your days uh, for those of you who are over in Africa anyway, right? Yeah. yeah it's like That's not much of a gift. I'm sorry. For me, it's a cute <laughs> gift because it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, what else? Do we have anything else to talk about? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess, I guess that's it. We did it. 
Yay, welcome back everybody, even though I think I've seen everyone anyway, but that's okay. Um, I appreciate you being here and we will um, connect async and also I will see you in two weeks then. Have a good yeah. one everybody. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye everyone.